Hey, hey, Slanish Devotee here again with another 40k Conquest game on Octagon to show and share with you. I'm trying out my Zogwart Swarm Orc again, and I'm up against Anrakir, and we all know Anrakir, he uh, can put a unit from a discard pile into play. So looking over the planets here, I've got, let's see, that's uh, five blue planets, four red in the first four, um, and one, two, the first three green as well. So this is, what, the, the most perfect bully rush type thing I've ever seen. Um, yeah. So Zogwart uh, generates Snotling tokens, and I've got lots and lots of cheap orcs to try and overwhelm my opponents and uh, yeah so let's let's see how it rolls I'm gonna keep this hand I'm up against me old chum killer zit always a always a pleasure but uh, always a tough battle so uh, he's keeping his and uh, let's see where we roll so I've got the first turn and I'm gonna start with cheap and simple goff boys to the first planet so Goth Boys are a one-cost unit, because they have the ally trait, which is considered a negative. Uh, they have zero attack and two HP, no command, so, you know, you'd, you'd be like, eh, they're not that great. But they get plus three attack on the first planet, so they're a good, good little unit to throw down on the first planet, easily. And then we realize that he should have enslaved someone, which I forgot about. So he enslaves the Eldar, which is fine, which is all good. And he plays a Shrieking exact, exact to start with. Brutal start. The, the Exact is an incredible unit. 5 cost for, for an Elite, 2 Command Hammers, 4 Attack, 6 Hit Points. So that's uh, pretty decent for the stats as is. But then it has the um, reaction after an army unit is destroyed at that planet. Deal 1 damage to any unit anywhere on the board. And draw a card. Now that ability is incredibly powerful, and to compensate for it, uh, you have to discard two cards um, from your hand. Now, obviously, Anrakir counters that being a downside a little bit, so he's put out the rogue trader on the top of his discard pile, and then he's able to deploy it anyway, which is quite impressive. I put a shooter mob down to Aatrox. Shooter mobs are two attack, one hit point, one command, one cost orc unit, just a little simple command capper. He put the rogue, tra rogue trader to planet 2, so I put an enraged orc over the top of that, so we've got equal command hammers on those planets. And my enraged orc, 2 cost, 1 command, 0 attack, 5 hit points, brutal, so it, gets, uh, hard, it hits harder as you damage it. So it's good to have on those first early bully planets, but it'll also uh, be a little bit of a command uh, element. So Killers It says he's done, and I am thinking about... The Blood Axe Strategist, having two Command Hammers, will neutralize the command effect of the Exarch, and I decide to go for it. So, he's not winning many Command, uh, whereas I have a couple. Not much, but a couple. Uh, I think I'm going to go to Planet 1. My Goth Boys have no Command, so if I go to Planet 1, I guarantee that I'm... I don't guarantee anything, actually, do I? But it means that I hopefully will get some Command on... Planet 1 and Planet 4. Uh, I generate up all the snotlings that I'm going to need to use. And... Just checking the wording on some of these units. Oh, I've put in the strategist. So he's a 3 cost, 2 command hammers, 2 attack, 4 HP. Again, that's decent stats as is for the cost. Um, but he also, after an orc unit resolves an attack, it may move to an adjacent planet or HQ, which is is fantastic. You can swing and get away at the same time. It's a really cool card. Okay, so decisions made. I'm going to planet one, and he's going to planet five. Karnath. Oh yeah, Karnath's always a a handy one, of course. Alright, so I do get my two command, he only gets the one, so that's nice, there. I feel like that's decent. Uh, gives me oh, a couple of little options here. And I've got no, no action, so I'm pretty sure I'm good, yep, all good. I get the first planet. 
first planet, which is a tricolor on an incredibly bullying array. So that uh, I'm like, I'm feeling like this is okay. I might be able to rush out with as many orcs as I can and do a bit of damage. So he gets Karnath and he's going to use it to trigger Planum, which is interesting. Uh, he goes, oh yeah, he shifts the two command hammers to another planet where he's going to be able to um, win the command, which is fair enough. It's a minor thing. So at the end of the phase, Zogwart kills all the snotlings on the board, which is fine. Clear those off. And I get his signature support, which is always really handy. Um, but I've got a lot of options here, so we'll have to sort of see which ones I want to use. Uh, kills it starts off with a recycle. He wants to clear his hand and get something good. Recycle allows you to discard two cards for a cost of one, and then you draw three new cards. So you basically pay a resource and put three cards out of your hand because you're including the recycle that you're playing. Um, and obviously in Anarchy, Gear, it's really good because you're specifically choosing what do you want to be in the discard pile, and um, then you can draw it up uh, with Anarchy's Gear's ability. So I do decide to put out the Hovel, which is a two-cost support. After the ward is declared as a defender, a Snotling appears at the planet. And the great thing is, uh, when he commits, he generates a Snotling. When he attacks, he generates a Snotling. And now if you choose to hit him, he generates a Snotling. So there's just Snotlings everywhere. Uh, on, a, on a planet with um, with Zogwood. Now, uh, oh no, he was rearranging his discard pile, I think, there. I don't, hmm, what, what was he? Oh, I think I may have uh, used his two. I honestly don't know. I put another strategist at planet one. I'm thinking I might be able to move one or two over to the second planet now. So he recycles a few more things. Did he do three recycles in a row? I, th I think he might have. That's quite impressive. Digging down another nine cards into your deck, you know. Um, that's quite cool. Quite impressive. Uh, but I'm done now. I can't afford anything else right at the moment. So we'll see what we get. Now we get a Penal Legionnaire, which is free out of his discard pile. And then Optimize Protocol is one of the APOCA cards. One cost, two shield event. After a unit you control enters play from your discard pile at a planet, put a target Necron unit you control from your discard pile into play at that planet. I think it's with cost three or lower. So the Penal Legionnaires are free to get out onto that planet, but Optimize Protocol allows him to immediately pull the Hunting Acanthrites out onto that planet, which kills the Penal Legionnaires and the shooter mob. Two army units that have died on the same planet as the Exarch, which allows him to trigger two points of damage to old Zogwart and draw two more cards. And uh, just like that, the damage engine is, is rolling. Uh, I hadn't realized, I hadn't made the connection that Optimized Protocol would, uh, would be so useful here, but um, that, I think that was just the perfect example of it. So the Pigeon Legionnaire was just discarded um, it died, so it went to the discard pile, uh, and so he moves it to the table. Uh, he'd actually already done that, hadn't he? Because that's how he got the optimized protocol to work. So really, he shouldn't have done that, but still, uh, he plays out a Sartek complex. He plays out a Rattling Deadeye, which is a one-cost Imperial Guard unit. It immediately dies at that planet, which triggers the Exarch. He gets to pull a card because of the Exarch. And the Sautek complex, uh, because there's no other Imperial Guard units under, the, under his control, the Sautek complex should be triggering as well. Um, it looks like he's forgotten to trigger it, so let's just see if he remembers. There we go, so he decides to take our resource. So effectively the routing was free. Because um, he's drawn a card with the exact to replace it. Uh, he plays another Penal Legionnaire, which gives him Sautek Complex Trigger, which he's probably going to get a resource from, I imagine, but it could be a card. Goes for the resource, yeah. Uh, it dies, so the exact pings old Zogwart, and then he gets to draw a new card. This is an amazing combination. It's just ludicrous. 
Uh, okay, so he plays uh, another one cost Imperial Guards, Phalen Shrine Guard, triggers the Sartek Complex, giving him a, he decides to take a card this time, and then he pings old Zogwart uh, with the Exarch, and then he draws a card. Another Penal Legionnaire triggers the complex, which he's going to get a resource from. Hits the Warlord. And at this point, I decide to shield, it looks like. Uh, no, not yet. I think I'm just checking how much damage I've got. Uh, yep, I decide to shield one to avoid being bloodied at this stage. Iridial's gone, it was the first planet, so. Yeah, yeah, this is looking pretty rough. And he draws his new card. He plays a Shrine Guard. Hmm. That bloodies me. He uses the Shrine, the Sartek comics to get a resource. And he draws another card. <laughs> but that looks like that's all he's able to do, which is fantastic. Or maybe he was waiting just enough to bloody me and then he was happy. So, I'm, a, I'm an exhausted warlord now as well. Um, I'm not sure where to go. I decide to go to planet 4, Karnath, um, in the vague hope that something there will be able to help me out. Um, but unfortunately he goes there as well, so he's going to be able to trigger that planet. I do get planet 1, which is nice. Uh, and I actually get planet 2 as well, don't I? So I get a couple of commands, and now I've really got to think, how the heck am I going to deal with that exact? What have I got that can possibly do it? Bit of a yawn there. Alright, over to Yvonne, which I should be able to win fairly handily. Just worried about wondering about if it would take an action there. Um, but we're all good. Okay. So uh, the Enraged Orc swings for zero, and the Blood Axe Strategist allows him to move to Planet 2, which I thought was a cunning use of the uh, Enraged Orc, but um, I don't think it's going to be enough. He. Unop uh, Optimized Protocol is a two shield card, so the Strategist um, can't leave or he would win the planet. So I was quite willing to, if I'd killed the rogue trader, I was quite willing to leave and just go to the next planet and nobody win the, win the planet, win the planet one. Uh, but now I'm going to have to stay and make sure the rogue trader runs away. Uh, and I decide to hell with it. I'll, uh, I'll trigger Yvonne and I'll put in Crackfang. The Black Crusade Elite Orc, unique, and he puts in a Harbinger of Eternity, which is actually horrifying. Uh, that gives him recursion of his events, and really, I didn't need that. I didn't need that at all. Uh, so I've now got two red, two green, and two blue. He has no planets, and I have, what? five hit points to protect me in this turn. That's my only chance. Oh, we've still got to fight Karnath first. Uh, so everything I've got is exhausted. Uh, the only non-warlord I have with me is an army unit that has zero attack if it's not at the first planet. And we're not at the first planet. 
so it has zero attack. It reminded me that I should have a Snotling there, uh, but I'd forgotten about it, so I just put in the one from the hovel. And then I used Battlecry to shield against Anrak here, because uh, nothing worse. I don't want to have to um, be that much closer to my assassination when we get to the next turn. Right, so the Snotling will swing it under here. Go ha 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 ha. I'm a clever evil Snotling. I, I, that'll show you. And he has to decide whether or not he stays first. It's potentially worth leaving Zogwart there. Um, if he gets declared the defender, if he gets declared the attacker, that's two more Snotlings coming in straight away. So what was, you know, one or two hits suddenly goes up to three or four. Very quickly, I'll, uh, I'll be outnumbering him. Golf boys, of course, are useless there, so I might as well pull them out. And I'll stay for now, I say. No actions, he gets to swing first. He does go for my Warlord, which is another Snotling. And I... Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I do. I take the whole damage. Take it all. At which point he uses the Harbinger of Eternity to recur a Recycle. Which is fine. He drops two more cards out of his hand and he's going to pull a new three of them. So he drops two Particle Whips and the Recycle and that'll allow him to draw three more. So by this point the Recycles have allowed him to go through 12 cards deeper into his deck and um, discard the things that he doesn't want discard 12 cards that he's not interested in, which is quite impressive, I've got to say, it's pretty good. I swing with a Snotling, and he shields with a full back. Uh, presuming the Recycle, he worked through to make sure he had some shields and things. Here's nothing else. Swing with another Snotling. He shields with another full back. He must have pulled some good cards. Swing with old Zoggy. Hey! My Warlord gets a point of damage through. Look at Zoggy. Good work, Zogwart. Good work. Um, is it still worth me staying another round? I decide not, I decide I'm going to go. But, you know, the Snotlings are going to die anyway at the end of the phase, so I may as well leave them there to try and ping a little bit more off uh, Anrak here. So he manages to kill one, I swing with one, and then... I may as well just take it back to the... Uh, the side. There we go. I stay, you kill it, the planet is now yours. Yeah. Uh, and he uses it to ping Aatrox down at home base. Very nasty. Everybody's feeling the pain. Okay. So I win on this planet, but the problem is that Exarch, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get away with it. So Enslavement Dial stays where it is, and I decide I'm going to blow up the Sautek Complex. It's nasty enough. 
I do not like it. I'm going to take it away. And he plays another one instantly. So, what does that teach you? Never try, kids. Never try. Crush face onto the first planet. He's a core set unique for the orcs. Three costs, two command, uh, two three to attack three hit points. And any orc unit deployed at the same planet reduces its cost by one. So he's really good with all those one cost units. The uh, the goth boys, the uh, shooter bobs, they're really great. And even the other ones that are, I'm usually playing two cost units, they're down to one. So you can get some quite a few orcs at a planet with crush face. Alright, so he's managed to do another point of damage to Zoggy. I put out a free war buggy because it's technically my deploy. War buggy only costs one. Three attack, one HP, no command. While your opponent has the initiative, the, um, the war buggy cannot be damaged by units. So if you've got a unit that causes damage, whether it be an attack, or a reaction, or whatever, uh, you can't affect the war buggy. Um, yeah, and so there we go. He kept damaging Zogwart, and he got there, because what else was going to happen? So that was a really, really quick game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. It often is against Killzit, but uh, I'll see what I can come up with next time. Catch you later.